Uh, so in my presentation, I will follow the I will follow the uh, following five aspects. So let's start with the uh, motivations. Fake news on the internet has posed severe uh, threats both on individual levels and social and social levels. Uh, over sixty over sixty percent of Australian users uh, have expressed their concern about what is real and what is fake on the internet. However. However, current studies have two major challenges. The first one is content-based methods have struggled with distinguishing well-crafted fake news with real ones due to the similar textual features, which means the high-level knowledge encountered in the relation among news entities and topics are still lack is sufficient explored. And the second one is methods depend on additional social context or external knowledge still fall short of the real-time detection and severely tackled by the large scale of the social uh, media and the uh, knowledge graphs. So in this work, we are particularly interested in how to deliver a sufficient fake news detection with text, put, text as input only. So uh, have a look at this figure. We can, f we can find that the fake news, 5G technology can, can spread the corona coronavirus Link the uh, topic 5G, 5G technology and the spread of COVID 19 together. These two topics are normally won't be linked in the same, in the same context or sentence. So here comes our motivation. We are, aim, we are aimed at exploiting the textual content of news alongside with the relations among entities, topics, and other ar news articles. And the second is we want to investigate the atypical local structures and the thematic within the New center subgraphs. The next part is our contribution. Uh, to the best of our knowledge, Hitler SGT is the first attempt to explore both world and sense level semantics pattern as well as the structure information among the news entities and the topics for the fake news detection. And the second one is by assigning a relative, posi a relative positional encoding to each node within the uh, random walk with restart sequence. The Hitler SGT mitigates the problem of the learning of the learning node, uh, node positional encoding in the graph transformers. And the third one is uh, through the extensive experiment of the five real world data sets. We demonstrate the superiority of the, uh, the performance of Hitler SGT. And we further analyze the, uh, by the case studies and ablation studies to validate the choices of our model design. Uh, now let's move on the uh, methodology. Here is the here is the overview of our proposed method. So first, uh, news entities and topics are extracted from all the news articles, and the second, the dual the dual attention model is is applied to encode the news news text to get their initial attributes in the Hitler graph, and then with all the uh, initial attributes of the topics, uh, entities, and news and uh, news. Uh, news articles and their relations with we we, we represent them into a heterogeneous uh, graph news graph and then we uh, applied a random walk with restart to sample the subgraphs from the constructed heterogeneous graph and the and the sampled subgraphs is the uh, then is fed to the heterogeneous SGT to uh, to train for the graph representation which is later used for the uh, detection now let's get a closer look to the module in the Hitler SGT. The first module is dual attention news embedding module. In this module, we uh, first apply world uh, world level attention by first apply uh, by GRU to update the uh, embedding matrix of the words, and then use the world level attention to get the sentence level uh, embedding. And then we and apply another by GRU to encode the sentence embedding and when we and then the sentence level attention is applied to get the news level embedding, which you, which will be used as the initial embedding in the heterogeneous graph. And then we apply a random walk with restart to sample the to sample the subgraphs from the constructed graph. So the input input is the uh, early mentioned constructed heterogeneous graph, and then we initial we initi initiate the root of the each random walk sequence as the news node, and then some uniformly sample the neighboring nodes to join the sequence until we until it reaches the certain length work length, 
and the subgraph it can be presented as a matrix and in which each row of each row of the matrix is the feature of the nodes in the sequence. And the uh, last last module in our mod, uh, in our model is the uh, heterogeneous subgraph transformer, which takes the subgraph as the input, and after we add the positional encoding to the to the uh, to the attributes matrix of the subgraph, and it will be updated by the transformer blocks. It should be mentioned that uh, H HIL is the output of the else attention block in which each row contains the transformer representation of the each node. And after the read func readout function, we can get uh, the we can get the the node rep the news representation, and which will then be classified by the dual level MLP. So let's move on to the experimental results. So here is the overall results of our proposed model. Best is in red, and the second best is in blue. We can see that we can see that Hito SGD attains the best performance across all uh, metrics and all, all data sets, except for the uh, recall for PN 2020. We further validate our model by conduct an ablation study. Here in the in the ablation study, we progressively re reduce the component or uh, introduce the components in our heterogeneous graph, such as we first we first introduce the entity and then the topic and then both the entity and the topic to ver to verify to validate our choices of the heterogeneous graph. And you can see that the significance of our mo of our model is harnessing the semantic and both is harnessing both semantic and structure information within the new heterogeneous graph. We also conduct several case studies. The first one is topic model evaluation. We adopt a dual metric approach to determine the optimal number of the topics for each data set. We also compare with the uh, different topic modeling methods in our, in our model. We compare with uh, HeteroSGT with LDA and BERT topic, and we can find that Although LDA is kind of like a traditional method for topic modeling, but it is still, in our model, it still performs better for per topic, uh, no matter in the performance or in the uh, computational cost. Uh, details can see in our paper. And the, and the second is we also analyze the impact of the work length and the restart probability in our, in our graph sampling module. And we also compare the uh, computational cost within the uh, with baselines. We can see that our model achieves the uh, superior performance with moderate memory and uh, time costs. And the uh, last one, we also compare the performance with the structure information only. So in this in this in this case study, we initialize the news features and topic features and energy features all as the random vectors in our graphs, and then. Apply with the or we apply, apply with our proposal model. We can find that both graph structure and new semantics matters for fake news detection. So, in conclusion, fake news fabric uh, fabricates irregular relations among loose related entities and topics, and their semantics also deviating from the genuine. Second is the semantic of news articles, entities, and topics, along with their a typical local structures can serve, uh, can serve as valuable assets for fake news detection. And the last one is uh, experiment on five real-world five real data sets to demonstrate the security and efficiency of our proposed method. And that's all. Thank you.